Hey guys, my name is Seniac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Where in the last episode, guys, we started to build and kind of actually completed our barbershop area. We've got a barbershop right now and a wig production. And how it works is we've trained barbers because we had the grant originally and we now complete it, by the way. Uh, we train our kind of uh, prisoners to become barbers so they can cut each other's hair, which is a win-win. Uh, when they cut the hair, they get strands of hair which get taken to the wig production area, which we turn into wigs and we sell it. So it's a way that the prisoners can make money, have some good recreational needs being satisfied, and for the, pris the prison itself to start making money. So much, in fact, we've got 26,000 now in the bank. So there's a few things I want to try and do today. One of them is to actually get like a store set up over here, another way to have prison labor, and also a way for them uh, to buy stuff to calm their needs as well. And try and make some headway on building the brand new prison wing. Now, I was looking at the grants that I currently have right now available to do. The one I've got is to raise my prisoner capacity to 48, uh, which I think that is based on having single cells. But if I check out my grants, I have other stuff like milestone get 50 inmates. If I click that one, complete it straight away and got 50,000 just like that. Easy, mate. Basic population here have 32 prisoners. Got it! And then this one over here, have at least 64 prisoners. Got that one too. Kind of uh, slightly on fire here, guys. And that's given me a total of 98,000 in the bank, which I can do a lot with. Which I want to do a lot with today. I want to try and get, like, all the vanity stuff. Kind of pretty much set up, like, the wooden floors and whatnot. So we're going to give our workforce now a ton of stuff they need to do. So we'll start by doing the wooden floor. In both the barber shop, the wig production room, and what is eventually going to be our brand new store. I'll get some fancy wood laminate flooring to go into the staff room. I feel like it'll be a nice little different change to it. And um, do I get wooden flooring in the reception? I don't know. But I will get it in the visitation room, both of them. And we'll get some white tiles running through the whole of the Morgan uh, infirmary. And, of course, where is it? Concrete tiles. We're going to get this running down each of the corridors here. So we're going to bring this up. And I'll, I'll stop it there because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with this area right here. So we'll see how things go. So while they get all that set up then, we're going to take a look at another grant. So we've only got one at the moment, which we'll hopefully get done soon. So what else do I want to try and look at doing then? We have, like, cotton plantations. Uh, grants the walls of life is like security rooms uh, Prison labor we should get like basic prison labor set up and if I can Eventually move the canteen over there That'd be quite cool to do at some point family first. Oh, how, is that a visitation grant? Yeah, we got that done. Yeah, boy uh, Staff deserve the best Got that done. Oh my god. The amount of grants I could get done right now is crazy. Huge is better. No, I don't want to do any of that. Your prison is safe. Have higher 50 guards. That's that's quite a big one, isn't it? Uh, there is a workshop one. Expanding the workshop. Um, keep your floor clean. Uh, build one cleaning cupboard. Hire two janitors. That would be a good one to get done. We've got to build a cleaning cupboard. We can also hire um, prisoners to work as cleaners as well, which would be pretty dope. So while they do all that then, I want to kind of uh, plan out this next cell block. So this one is currently, if I kind of do a size of it here, 42 by 38. It's one, two, three away from there. So one, two, three. So 42 by 38. So it's 42 by 38. There we go. Let me just uh, double check it was that size. <laughs> 42 by 38. Yes, it was. Okay. And then, of course, I want have the corridor going all the way up so where is it going to end I don't really know but I'm just kind of getting the planning all set up so with that planning now in mind I can then use this area here as various other stuff uh, one of them being lots and lots and lots of cleaning cupboards so this is going across here 10 so 10 Kind of brings it in there. So how many cleaning cupboards should I get? Hmm. If I did that, that will become one cleaning cupboard for now. It's quite a big one. 
So that would do the job for now. Yeah, that would be pretty handy. I like that. Okay, right. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff that we need to get done then. So we're going to fast forward until the builders have got all that flooring new placed in. That laminate flooring looks so good. Very impressed with that. they got all that in as well. Can I de-zone all that? And that one. Right, okay. So where are they at now with the, with the flooring? Okay, so doing the visitation, the two visitations, the Morgan Infirmary. And then once I got all that set up, we'll then get them to start placing down the foundations of these like brand new rooms and areas. Oh my good god, there was 14 escapes today? Oh my god! Right, hold on. Objects. Is it objects? No, it's materials, isn't it? Remove tunnels. Guys, I feel like we need to do a shakedown. Oh, this whole dormitory here just got... Just disappeared. Wow. Okay, okay. We have to do a shakedown to see what tools they've got on them. Because clearly some tools are going undetected. I can't believe we just lost 14 of them. Wow. Right. Get rid of all that tunnel, please. Um, which the only upside to that is we've had more prisoners now come in the next time round, so we're gonna get five thousand one hundred in terms of our grant incoming. It's not bad. Right, all them tunnels are now gone. Finally, how much in foundations is this now gonna cost me? Twenty three thousand. Damn boy. Anyway, we're going all the way over here. So we'll do we'll do this to here. We'll build that one to there. This one to there. First, before we build that room. Because material rise, we want to get like the fence just to there. And once that fence is built in, that's kind of built as well. Oh, we're missing out these little foundations too. So I'm not really sure how far these foundations need to go over. Because it all, it all comes down to the space and whatnot. But we're getting in eventually. We're getting in eventually. A lot more prisoners are now just come in. A lot more prisoners. Considering we just lost the load. Um, so it's currently eat time. We're going to have to set up different kind of times for eating and showering. Stuff like that for like different security of prisoners. At some point. Just to reduce the amount of people that are coming in and out. I'm not going to accept any more, any prisoners for this area until this canteen has been fully expanded, you know, in general. Because it's quite big. It is quite big. So hopefully they can use some of their energy that they're going crazy with now and exert it in the yard. Um, danger is increasing. What, what's the gang situation like now? So intelligence and gangs. Right, so we still have only one gang leader, which is the green gang. They have two enforcers with the two rings around them. Interesting. 24 members in the green gang. They've got a lot of cells. That's interesting as well. Some of them have been being punished. Oh, there's some gang members in the infirmary. That's not good, is it? Damn, boy. It's been going down in the gangs, hasn't it? It's been going down. Right, let them continue then. As we get it all in. So let's also look towards building and zoning this to be our store. So the shop, scrolling work time now slash free time. We'll get the shop in. Let's put it to play. Oh, we got a riot underway, guys. We got a riot. Is this because is this a gang kicking off? Yeah, there's gang wars, guys. There's legit gang wars. Right, we might have to bring in the emergency services. So riot police, please income. Right, they're here. Get in there. Oh, no. Wrong button. Get in there, riot police, and sort this mess out. Right, here they come. Alright, they've come at the end when the riot's over. But I'll keep them there for a while to make their presence known. Man, we've had so much injury right now. Uh, staff, how many doctors do I have? We've got two doctors. Let's raise this up now. To 10. We're having 10 doctors because I feel like the amount of drama that goes on in this prison, we're going to need all these doctors. We're going to need all of them. And it's probably best if I get some more guards too. Let's raise our guard capacity. Oh, 
up to 50. It says 44 there, but I think six of them are currently injured. So that's quite a few guards we've got in as well. Right, we're spending all the money right now. Okay, objects then for this sh for the store. We need to get a shop front in. We'll place that there. We need a shop shelf. One, two, three, four. Nice one, two, there. So we're just doing our best here to maximize how much stuff we can get in. And I believe we also need tables. Is it tables? No, we just need to have a shop front. Alright, let's just do it like that. Yeah, I don't put those in. Mm, right there. There. Well, that should be fine then with the, sh with the store. I'm happy with that. Okay. So, it it's a lot we got to get in. A hell of a lot of stuff. But they should have then... Finalize all of this. If they start working on this store, yeah, they're starting to work on the store right now. So this is pretty much all done. So material-wise, we're going to demolish these walls here. There we go. Fast forward, then so we get those demolished, and that should build all the foundations. Then, all right? Is that going to build the foundations, guys? Yes, it is. So a lot of foundations are now going to get built. But most importantly to take from this is I can now demolish this fence and get them other foundations in too. So demolish this fence. And then we'll get them foundations in. So there's a lot of lights that we now having to get imported in to do this. And I'm not going to get this set up anytime soon. Well, just yet anyway, because I want to get the canteen uh, done. So I'll save the amount of money for that. But we can get the cleaning cupboard set in first. That is what we're going to do anyway. So we're still waiting for this shop front to be built over here. So once that's then done, we can then designate people to work in there then we can start earning some cash money moolah in the prison it's it's just, it's all give and take i love it there's always another way in which we can earn money i like it right foundations then so build that there build that to there so apparently it's kicking off some was it just kicking off somewhere i feel like it slightly was are we gonna get that that, that, that front in I don't know. We should actually... Hang on. Rooms. Where's delivery? Where is delivery? Right, there's exports. Where's... Oh, there's delivery. So here's delivery. I just want to make the room bigger. Or the, the zone for it. So we get more stuff off the trucks. There we go. Are they going to eventually build that, that storefront? How's our power grid anyway? That's all good. Okay, we've now built that in. So, uh, deployment, no, logistics, prison labor. We can have 13 jobs in there. And what that will do is obviously give 13 prisoners a job, of course. But prisoners can spend their money they earn from other jobs to buying stuff in here to make their, their stay a lot, lot more happier. Uh, they can also buy cool stuff to, like, you know, reduce some of their needs. And it earns us money, too, which is a really good thing. We'll get materials in now, do the concrete floors leading up to that storefront. That's what we need in. Requires an entrance over here, so we'll do uh, materials now. No, object, sorry. And get a lockless door in. So we'll do one there. And get some concrete flooring in too. Just kind of like almost semi mirror it. Wait, wait, wait. If we can't. Oh, is that an It's already been built, hasn't it? Damn, boy. All right, white tiles. I kind of want to redo that. If we put that back to dirt. 
concrete tile going down here. Objects, if I dismantle that door, just place it over there. Brick wall, get that in there. Then rooms then, if we zone it the cleaning cupboard, that then should get that done once the wall is done. We need a personal sink in here. Is that it? No, personal sink. There we go. I'm not sure exactly why, but I'm not going to question it. I don't know if we need to get the utilities hooked up to it. I don't know. But we'll see. We will see, guys. We will see. Right, this is looking pretty good. It's all going in the right direction. Stuff will eventually get put on the shelves once we get working, like, staff in there. Okay, we don't need an actual water supply. So we need 14 jobs for the cleaning cupboard then. So it's like it's like having an additional 14 cleaners. Granted, they'll only clean when it's prison like work time. There's deaths as well. Oh my good god. I need to set up Did I get the patrols? Regular guard patrols. Yeah. I need to set up patrols. So we'll do that now. So we have a guard patrol in there. We should have two. Let's have two. Just so when it all does kick off, there's guards around. Two there. There we go. Um, we'll do some in the canteen. Right, two there. We do around the yard. We do four there. There's more deaths. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, we'll do one kind of floating around outside the visitation. We'll do one floating around the reception. One floating around this room. It's just ways of guaranteeing having guards. We'll have a guard that floats up and down here. Because he can open the gates when needed. And then we'll have... We'll have two guards floating around here. Right, so deployment should work for us in those various areas. I can also have guards like be fixated in a room anyway. So one there. One's going to be there. One in each visitation. So we'll see how that goes then for now. We'll see how it goes. I can get rid of the riot police now, can't I? Yeah, they, they can all now go home. Right, okay. Okay. So we've got a lot of stuff now set up then. We just gotta wait for the work time so they start working in these brand new areas. Got twenty eight thousand now in the bank. Which is kinda of dope. All right, it's kicking off again. It's kicking off again, guys. How bad is this riot gonna be? We should bang everyone up who wants to go to their cell. Ooh, they've taken over this area. No way. Right, okay, emergency. National Guards. Should we get them? Yeah, let's bring in some soldiers. Let's see what happens with those guys. Okay. Oh my god, they've got guns. Uh, they've got guns. Right, I've got to do these one by one. I think this is one of the mods, isn't it? I'm not exactly sure. But let's see what happens with this. I'm quite scared and worried because they have guns. Oh my good god! Um... 
Right, I kind of didn't want to do that, but... I can't believe what's just happened! Am I a monster? Right, I'm gonna make those... You guys go... Oh, God. Oh, my good God. I mean, it's one way to solve a riot. But dear God, I didn't realize the National Guard Service do that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm in shock. I'm not going to lie to you, I'm in shock right now. Right, we're going to have to uh, overwork our infirmary right now and our doctors. It's a lot of dead bodies. Dear God. Why, Sediac? Why? Right, it's work and free time. I can't believe that. That took me by surprise. It's work slash free time right now. So you can now see that they're starting to put stuff on the shelves. Uh, some of them are starting to buy stuff, which is good. We had $30 for the shop intake. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we should have now some prisoners cleaning various areas of the prison. Because it's also work time as well because we've got them. If I just kind of pause it quickly, logistics, prison labor. So, okay, so none of them actually taken up the cleaning job. Interesting. And again, the prison's not that dirty. Well, I say it's not that dirty. It's very dirty in some areas, but it's not that dirty. Oh, man, I can't believe what's just happened. Destruction at its finest right there. Right, planning-wise, then, we need to start or get set up. The canteen area now. So the canteen, do I have it that size? No, we're going to make it go the full length of what we've currently got. So there. So that's going to be the canteen. And we'll have this be the kitchen. So this is going to, because we'll have one mirrored over there. That'll, that'll kind of uh, focus on this cell block and another cell block there when we get it. Then we'll have like a mirror, another canteen there, and that'll serve that cell block and that one there eventually. Um, right, so foundations wise, what's that going to be to get this all in? 19,000. Okay, we have the funds to do that. And also get this going all the way across there. And bring this down to there. It's a lot we're getting in. I'm now down minus 6,900. Damn, boy. Where did all my money go? Just disappeared on me like that. Any uh, trees I can chop down? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my good God. I still can't go over what the National Guard Service just did to our prisoners. Utter destruction. Cannot believe that. Wow. Just wow. That's all I can say right now. That's ridiculous, man. Right, we're in a lot of debt then, so we need to get out of the debt. Any grants I can kind of like quickly snag that I've already done? Prison labor, water wonderland. Uh, hire a police force. What's that? Hire tank. Easy. I have five guards in chief. 25 guards. We got that. Hire 50 guards and a chief. Got that one too. Oh no, we got to hire 50 guards. Let's get that done then. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. 50 guards now done. And we're finally out of debt. Interesting. Not bad. Loving it. Loving it a lot. Okay. So with that done then, we're just requiring us to have now a prison entrance. We're going to have to demolish some walls. And they're currently sleeping, so this is the, probably the best time to do it. Demolish those walls now. I should get all that set up. There we go. 
need to get rid of those there. And replace them with these walls. Not bad. Uh, utilities. We need to get all this in. Should have one there. One there. And then run it down. And around. And that will then, once I've got all the other walls in, that will satisfy all those areas. Then we're eventually going to move the canteen and kitchen to there. So it's a lot bigger. You're able to house, in, you know, a lot more prisoners who need food. So then it means I can then focus on this area. Because I don't want to do this area without having a big enough canteen to be able to feed the amount of prisoners we're going to be having in. So it just completely makes sense, doesn't it? It does make sense. So with this now all in, we'll kind of should we kind of get it all set up? Well, I'll zone it for now. Right, rooms, canteen. There we go. Uh, we need the kitchen. Where's the kitchen? There we go. So kitchen. Um, objects. Do I have the cloning just yet? No, I can't really clone, can I, just yet? Yeah, I can, kind of. There we go. So I can clone some tables. Alright, we do like that then. So, do some more here. There's a lot of tables we're going to be getting in. We've got 19,000 as well, so we've got enough money to do this. Right, so objects. Table wise, then. So I could squeeze in. Yeah, oh, I can do it like that. That actually works very well. Thinking about it, we might have to rotate it, but that, that's actually going to work kind of fine. I could have cloned and placed it all in there anyway. Oh, no. There we go. Sweet, mate. So I need, then, serving tables. So one there, one there. Like that. So enough serving tables in there. Uh, material wise then brick wall we'll squeeze that in close that up there I'm just trying to think of where we were placing like the double door system and whatnot so we have it on both sides here so objects I do a large jail door but ultimately, we're going to keep them open anyway. Right, it's a lot we need to get in. I'll put it into play. So, kitchen sinks. This is where it's going to go crazy right now, isn't it? Right, there we go. Fridges. Did you hear that slight little riot that went down then? There we go. Cookers. And we've run out of money. Of course we have. Of course we have. Hold on. More money's about to come in. In like a couple of seconds. You ready? There we go. Right, they're all fighting still. Uh, utilities. Get that in for the piping that we need. Right, where's it kicking off over here? It's, it's kicking off in very quite a bit, isn't it? All right, we're locking everyone down until we sort this little discussion out. All right, bang, turn the bang off off now. Sort these guys out. 
Well, that should sort them out. That should literally sort them out. Uh, have we got power to these? What's going on here with these? Oh, it's going to be dismantled. Gotcha. So they're going to eat, but it's going to be quite weird now because we don't have this canteen fully set up. And they, they're fine like crazy in there already. Damn, boy. Right, we're going to get the emergency service in the riot police. Just to kind of handle that situation. Are the riot police coming? There we go. So I can keep this area under control. Right, we'll try and put like a riot staff in various areas. There we go. So we'll just keep them in various areas for now. While we wait to get the majority of this new kitchen and canteen set up. Uh, right now. Uh, materials wise. Fence. If I get this one in here. I can demolish that one and put a door there. Right, we're going to wedge these doors open. So always open. And again. Always open. Always open. Always open. So it'll take them a while. But it'll get it done. It'll get it done. Uh, okay, so. We're at the point now. Wow. Kicking off big time there. The right police came in just the right time. I can't wait till they got tasers, our guards. They can handle the situation so much better then. Things will just change dramatically. Right, is it worth having more workmen? I don't have enough funds to do that. We're back to being poor again. But we have spent quite a bit. We have got quite a bit set up. So we don't have to spend as much in the next coming episodes anyway. So we can start to build up our cash money moolah. Again. But we are doing pretty good. You can see how, how it's going to take some time. So it's going to work time right now. So how is everyone with their jobs? One's becoming a cleaner. Quite a few of them have decided to work in the store. And as I say that, it's now eat time. They're all going to go to this one, aren't they? Yeah, we have no food set up in here. There we go. Our, our soul riot dude is taking them all on. Get in here, boy. Kick off with them. Control this behavior. Also, armed guards is another way for us to uh, keep the tempers down in the prison. But again, it's just literally, we have to unlock it. And to un unlock it, we need money. So it just takes time. We'll eventually get there anyway. This is one step forward anyway to where we're going. Prison is going to be looking juicy after this. I can't wait till this is all done. I can get rid of this one. It's just our workmen. It'll take some time. Well, I can hire two more workmen. There we go. An additional two to get all the stuffs done. Have they built? Oh yeah, they built this area here. Okay, so let's demolish that fence. And then objects and get a large jail door just there. And then we've got to walk all the way up and round. They can just come straight through and in. It should be a, a quicker route to get into the canteen area. But of course, we've got to wait for them to, uh, to do that. Um, control and left click. To make high priority. There we go. I've made it high priority right now. So hopefully they get that done. There we go. I think I, I didn't do it right the first time. So we can get that, that door done please guys. Can we get that door done? 
Oh, it's done. It's done. I didn't even notice it was done. Right, always open. Concrete floor down like that. GG, everybody. GG. So, some cooks now have come over there to this area. Looking towards getting this stuff all placed in. Placing all the electric wires around. Still getting the odd one or two tables now placed in. Piping all up and running too. Getting there slowly but surely. Nice chunk of cash flow just came in. More guards fighting. Wow, we've just found a tunnel. I think we should do a shakedown. Should we do a shakedown? Bam, we're doing a shakedown, guys. We're searching every area in the prison right now to find anything that they've got that can that they can use any contraband that they can use against us. Look at that. The riot guard is taking a beating as usual. Lots of deaths. Alright, where's the other riot guard? So you getting over here. Take him down, boy. Take him down. Look how much contraband we're finding. So many large jail door keys found. So many batons. What? Look at that. Clubs and whatnot. This is all from when they're fighting the prisoners, the guards and stuff like that. It's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Right, let's stop that shakedown then. I'm happy with that. Um, right. How's it going on over here? Objects wise, drop in some more large jail doors either side there. We're going to keep them open. That's now pretty much all done. So what I'll do is these rooms here, de-zone them. And probably at some point, if I go to uh, sell objects. Can I dismantle them first? I think I've got to dismantle them first. That might be what I need to do first. No, I, I don't know how you sell it. It's weird, isn't it? Well, they're all dismantled anyway. So this is the main kitchen area now. Keep these doors always open. So we've got a bigger kitchen to use now. Uh, I'll eventually get rid of all these foundations. Completely like get rid of them. As we expand the yard going towards the left. So we can have a bigger yard to work with. It's all heading in the right direction then guys. So we're literally all heading in the right direction. So next episode then we're going to look towards slowly starting to build our next uh, wing. We'll also look towards getting um, some higher level of security. Like dogs, having the armory from armed guards, eventually getting the tasers for the prisoners and body armor and guard towers. It's a lot of stuff we need to get add, uh, added in because the gangs are literally taking over. Gangs wise right now, it's still the green gang that have the cash. Uh, the majority of it. I mean, the cash, sorry, where are we getting cash from? No gang has any cash just yet. But it's the uh, the green gang who have the, the, main, the main kind of uh, setup for... A gang there's no leaders for the red or blue one and they had the most members too so it's very very dangerous it's a very dangerous game they could be playing so if you guys do enjoy this episode if you did smash that like button down below and until next time i'll see you all soon so good Bye.